Welcome back guys. Sadly the uh, recording cut out in the last one and then I played this mission following and the recording corrupted again so yeah it's annoying and I can't figure out how to stop it happening. I've changed hard drives, I've installed the recording system onto the new hard drive. Nothing seems to work unfortunately so here we are. This is what happened. I took out a light cruiser and I lost a destroyer. It was a fairly entertaining battle. Um, the light cruisers that they've got have got six underwater torpedo tubes with three um, sets of torpedoes for each one. So I had to dodge 18 torpedoes and I could not get a critical hit on him for ages. And then he finally released his last two torpedoes and I got a critical hit on him instantly. So uh, yeah, they're light cruisers haven't got any armor on their turrets which is the stupidest thing that you can do because that's where you get 90 percent of your flash fires from when you lose a turret so their light cruisers are incredibly susceptible to flash fires from turret losses but their heavy cruisers have got a nice amount of armor all over so uh, I'm going to have a tough time against the heavy cruisers. Let's have a look at finances. Everything's going perfectly well. We've got an armoured cruiser. That's annoying. That is annoying. Well, let's see if we can burn him out. Okay, so I think I might try and take out the destroyer first if I can. He has only got one set of torpedoes though, uh, reduced ammo. So I'll have to dodge four torpedoes because he's got, oh, it might be six actually, two times two and a uh, two times one. But he hasn't got any reloads for him. So once I've dodged his first set of torpedoes. I should be able to get in close, do some damage. So I should be okay from that torpedo, or them I should say, unless he decides to do something strange. But this one, I might be in danger. Let's have a look. No, I should be okay from that one as well. Okay, so I think that should be him finished for his torpedoes. If I am correct. Oh, what are you doing? Don't turn back inside. Yep, so he's got no torpedoes left. So I can sink him as fast as I can and then move on to this heavy cruiser and see if I can burn him out.
Not getting many fire results on him, which is a shame. Especially considering I'm using Pickwick to I really want to know if you can get a flash fire or an ammo crit from HE rounds, so I might be able to find that out. If I'm lucky. I don't know why screen is making them that's unfortunate. I don't know why screen is making them spread out so much. Normally they they hang around a lot closer to each other than they do at the moment. So uh, not 100% sure what's going on there. Right, we're going to have Nasty flash fire there. Is it on the main belt again? Main gun destroyed this time. Painful. Painful. Yeah, this is not a good matchup against the uh, armored cruiser. And a flash fire again. What is it? Main belt or? main gun again. Ah well, we tried. We tried and we failed. I knew going into it that fighting an armoured cruiser was going to be bad news. But I am shocked at how little amount of fire damage I did. I think if we have a look Yeah, there's nothing on there to say that it's going to cause more fires. HE shell fire chance. Oh yeah, HE shell fire chance. Of course there is. Right, so it's the Pickrick 1 that's got the plus 200. Not the Pickrick 2. Interesting. I didn't read that. I very rarely use picric acid. Right, that might be where my problem is then. But it's too late now. Still though, 75% extra chance. I didn't get anywhere near as many as I expected I would. So finances are still going fantastically. Got 188 destroyers, 20 battleships that I'm just using for power projection. Got nothing to do with fighting, they're just simply there to stop getting blockaded. Ah, god damn it. Armoured cruisers are my bane. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm pretty confident in taking out the uh, light cruiser, but. These armoured cruisers have been a real pain in the arse.
Okay, just put everyone in a screen order as usual. See if we can uh, figure out where this light cruiser is, which is there. Now we should have 18 torpedoes, which is a pain in the arse to deal with, but we should be able to get around it. If I get hit by the odd one, I'm not going to worry about it. Although I will try and dodge them if, uh, if it looks easy enough. So he's fired three. We've knocked out his engines, so might be able to get a bit of damage on him. The problem is, is as soon as I get close, he's going to have reloaded his torpedoes, and then I'm obviously just going to get shot with torpedoes, so I can't get too close to him. Well, I've done virtually no damage so far, just can't seem to hit. Twelve ricochets. I just need to hit his turret, get a flash fire. Getting far too close for comfort here. I'm almost guaranteed to get shot by a torpedo at this rate.
Well, that was a strange angle to be shot at. Maybe he was shooting at this guy. That caught me right off guard. They always shoot in front of you, because obviously that's the direction you're travelling. So the fact that he shot behind me then, I really did not expect that. Well, is that a turret destroyed? Can't quite tell. Oh, that's my bloody ship, that's why. I've lost my engines. I'm not going to be able to dodge torpedoes at this rate, so I'm going to have to start trying to do an evasive maneuver. But he's probably had had his day. Yeah. Uh, well, not much you can do about that if you lose your engines. still alive, so that's one thing. Still nothing on his turrets, which is a real pain. Well, I destroyed one of his main guns there, but sadly no critical hit. Oh no, I've lost me bloody Ruddit. Terrible time to lose your Ruddit. No, <laughs> I think I should be alright.
going to be close for a ram, but I need to flood him at the front anyway. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, flash fire. That's just bloody typical. Out of all the shots that I've hit him with, and he gets the critical hit on me. How many shots did he take? Eight. No, seven of them with the ammo detonation. One. One shot and he got a critical hit on me. Bloody typical. Well, critical hits and flooding just don't seem to want to sink this ship.
But what a pain in the arse this ship has been. I've shot 6,000 shots at it. <coughs> I've only hit 330. <laughs> He's ricocheted and blocked over 200 of that 330. And I've only hit his turret once. Finally, I think that'll do. I'm not going to make any effort to chase down the uh, armoured destroyers because they're twice as hard as these. Then I had a hard enough time just taking this out, so I'm going to count that as a victory. I've got three times as many victory points. I did lose a ship, which was a shame, but you can't do anything about He one-shot me. Hit me once and got a bloody multiple ammo detonation. Okay, just check the finances just to make sure something strange hasn't happened. This will be a challenge. We haven't had one of these yet in 1910, I don't think. Okay, let's see if we can burn him out in 1910. We've done it in 1900. Just for a change, I'm going to try in a breast formation because of how well it always turns out. <laughs> the thing is, the screening hasn't been going so well in this era, for whatever reason, because the ships have been hanging around so far away. It might have had something to do with the fact that the enemy had such a high torpedo range, uh, radius, range, whatever the word is. <coughs> so maybe they were just trying to stay out of uh, torpedo range, I don't know. But it did seem a bit odd that we were 
staying so uh, far away from the ship they were meant to be screening. So we'll give in a breast formation a go. Oh, that's not a great start. What's going on here now? This is meant to be in a breast formation. You're meant to be there. You're meant to be there. Where are you going? They've completely switched sides from where they were when he was the leader. This is why I don't use abreast formations. So frustrating. But at least they are uh, hanging around close to the lead ship, so that's good. Alright, he hasn't got any torpedoes, so that's one thing I don't have to worry about. Oh, I forgot how this works. Puts it on everybody. I'm not sure whether six destroyers is enough to get this job done.
I mean, we've got him under 50% uh, structure, so I'm quite happy so far. Even if I just fled now, I'm quite happy with the result up to now. Well, for whatever reason, I don't seem to be doing any damage for ages, so... It must have just been one or two fires. Oh, I did get eight fires. But 200 per fire. I've had a look at his stats, and basically it's because he's got a few bulkheads and he's got picric acid 1 they're the two main reasons that the fire was so uh, deadly he hasn't got he's only got standard bulkheads he hasn't got reinforced bulkheads and uh, cordite as well isn't particularly great so uh, yeah he's obviously a flammable ship but for some reason I haven't been able to hit him for ages he just blocked everything So I'm going to say 46% structural damage left is good enough for me. Time to retreat.
Well, that's just typical that he took his ship out just as I was about to end the battle, but it's fine. The way that the um, repairing works is it costs 150% more than building a new ship. He was under 50% structure damage, or over I should say. So that's 12 and a half, if you call it half, plus 50%, so that's 18 million damage that will cost him to repair. So I think 18 million is more than the, uh, the 2 million it cost me, plus obviously my repair costs. Okay, what well, we got two destroyers and an armored cruiser. Well, I think we'll call it a day on this one, guys, and we'll start the next one with this battle. Hey, cheers for watching. Take care. See you soon.